All right, so now I am just soldering in the cables that I have through the, um, through the table here. And you can see, um, this is a Arduino uh, 2560 uh, Mega. Uh, it's actually the Pro version, which is more compact. Um, but it doesn't matter really that it's the Pro or not Pro. Um, you can see I have the four cables in. This is, uh, I don't know which one is switched and now, but two of them are for the actuator, for the pitch lane. And then one is pitch and one is roll for 10 geometers. Uh, way more that I need to connect and I need to also connect grounds and five volts to the potentiometers and well as well as the uh, actuator. But I'm um, uh, getting those connected here and I'm also setting up um, grab these here. Also setting up the computer uh, for the flight or not for the flight but for uh, doing the setting up and all that on the software side. So uh, because I think before I go and plug in every single cable in the Arduino, I wanna check the Arduino is functioning and one by one I can get them working, not that I sort of solder all of them at once and then I realize <laughs> the Arduino is broken and then oh, and the problem is there. So I'll just get those four configured. All right, and I, as I'm working on the wiring and electronics, I uh, was thinking it was maybe maybe now a good time to make a video of the, about the electrical box that we have on the back of the plane here, or back of the cockpit here. So, first of all, we have this uh, 230, 230 volt um, cable that goes in there. It's it's a long cable, so we're gonna plug it in uh, to a uh, plug far away from the simulator uh, if we are somewhere uh, not near a plug it goes into this box and also through this uh, circuit breaker where it moves here into this um, uh, this plug here I already can get power for things maybe more temporary like the computer and screen that I am using here to uh, configure the uh, hardware here. Uh, here also you can see we have another cable coming out and it goes into this box and from here it goes into this 12 volt uh, 400 watt power supply and also from the same place into this other one which is 12 volt 200 volt 200 watt. Uh, together these 600 watts powers our 12 volt system for the whole cockpit. Um, uh, that's DC on both of these, but we also have 12 volt AC, and these we honestly uh, um, we might have seen we had the first uh, four of these, but now we took two of them away for other stuff. So we have two 12 volt AC. I think this is 100, 105 watt uh, power supplies, and these are specifically for LEDs. Hold on. These LEDs that they have, we got them used for free, so might as well have them. They're gonna be for the general lighting, map lights, etc. for the cockpit. So these two will power independently uh, because it's AC. These DCs wouldn't work. Uh, here we have just a basic terminal block and. Here we, uh, and then uh, these two here specifically go for the 12 volt relays for the pitch lane. Uh, I have yet to wire them up to here, but we'll wire it up here. Um, then this one, the smaller one of these power supplies, also has the two um, wires coming into here, and it goes through all of these. These are Five, uh, 12 to 5 volt uh, converters. Uh, I believe they are 50 watt. Yes, they're 50 watt. And total 150 watt. And we have two more in case we need. So we have up to 250 watt uh, 5 volt power. Um, so they, they power most of the cockpit 
in reality, like uh, LED, LEDs and seven segments and all the switches, buttons, geometers, all of that. And you see the first one already has the cables running out here on the back and they go here. We have the ground, the black one, and marked in red is our 5 volt positive. Um, here it's quite a kind of mess, I haven't organized it at all yet. Uh, we have all our 5 volts, these are for, I believe these are all for potentiometers. And there we have all our grounds. Um, and then one of those wires goes into the Arduino's ground. So the Arduino is grounded to all of this. That's how it basically works. Um, it will be, uh, there will be a lot more wires and systems coming uh, as we progress further. But this is the general layout. We have the 100 and, uh, sorry, 240 volts on this side here, sort of. Then we have our 12 volts here. And then we here have five volts here. And that should be all we need. So I think this is very good. Also, this cabinet, we got it for free, uh, used one. It was on, or originally for networking, but it works perfectly for this. It's so, so nice to have this, so we don't need to have them, have all the electronics laying out wherever, like in the last simulator we had just stuff everywhere and it was really sketchy but now we have this sort of central area for all of the power to come from and we can route it to different parts of the cockpit that's excellent to have um, also I did wire the pedals and the yoke uh, the pedals I got working very nicely very easily straight away well the yaw axis um, but I'm having some trouble with with the yoke unsurprisingly we are gonna have to flip the thing over, see if I have something connected uh, wrong or something else. I don't, I don't really know what's going on, I need to see. But we're making progress. I'm gonna keep an update when I got this working and I'm gonna probably see it running in the simulator as well. All right, it's now the following day and I just came back here and I wanted to test if, I want to test a few things more and uh, you can see Another input one is um, inputting changes or reporting changes. And another input one happens to be the yoke. So um, what, what is the problem then? Or what was the problem and what still is the problem? Is uh, yesterday, as you saw, I tested the five volts in and we had the five volts uh, going into, into the potentiometer. Oh God, okay. there. Um, but what something is happening in there that when I move this, um, the gear spins and it's nice, but the potentiometer has range only on the very, um, left side. So when I have been testing, I have always been moving it like, like, just like this, but the range only happens when I rotate it all the way to the end here for some reason. Um, so that's why I haven't been able to like um, receive a signal. So I thought it was uh, broken or some other problems there. But now, um, well, yeah, we <laughs> do have a problem, but the problem is in connection to the Arduino or it's not mobified, but it's actually the potentiometer right there. Okay, then what about the uh, pitch axis? Well, sure enough, the pitch axis potentiometer is right here, and this works, the potentiometer works, but huh, the shaft, the rod that connects uh, the potentiometer into the yoke, um, which um, you can't, can't see here very well, it's, it's some, it's, um, hold on, that is the shaft, uh, rod that connects to the potentiometer right there. Um, that has snapped off. There was a um, wire tying it together, but that has snapped. So obviously now when I have been moving the pitch line, uh, nothing has been moving. 
because there is no connection here. But it works like this. So just two very unfortunate uh, things underneath the floor um, that are um, making it uh, not work. But those are, well, the pitch lane, this axis that I showed you just a moment ago is easy to fix. We just need to get some stronger cable and just make sure that it's not gonna snap anymore. For the roll, uh, I'm gonna have to turn this over more so I can access the roll um, potentiometer and I, I think it is broken or the potentiometer is slipping in the gear. Either way, uh, we're gonna have to flip this um, over more so I can get underneath there properly. So um, the potentiometers are, uh, the Arduino as a mobile flight connection works. That's really good news. All right, just a quick update. I um, got all of those, all of the yoke uh, buttons wired. Um, it's a little bit hassle here, um, but they are all well connected and I put some heat shrink on there. They are nicely staying there. So all of these, um, all of these should work. I already tested uh, on the mobile flight, uh, this side, all of these um, were detected. I didn't check this side, but um, I'm gonna kind of set this up later because I know that they are, well, it's pretty certain that they are gonna work and uh, we are gonna con just configure them exactly like those are. Or I haven't necessarily configured those, I've just set the pins in both and see that we are receiving a signal, which we are. So, um, just about everything is now installed here. Uh, one more thing is um, this one relay here that connect um, controls uh, the stick shaker here. And the stick shaker um, runs on a just basic um, motor and 12 volt motor. So we're gonna get that relay connected as well. We only have one stick shaker, or oh, we do have two, but the um, other one doesn't have a motor because we only had one motor. All right, um, um, now you can see I have lifted it up uh, on its side like this. And uh, I took, take a look, uh, took a look uh, at the gear, which was on the potentiometer and what ended up happening as I surf expected and which is very lucky that it was that case. Uh, the potent potentiometer is or was just slipping inside this gear. So I took it off. It was hot glued in there, which was <laughs> evidently a very bad idea. Uh, I'm gonna mount this better probably with uh, just uh, drilling a screw on the side and then just like uh, tightening with a screw and then also maybe some hot glue, but uh, definitely not just hot glue, that's not enough. We'll get this tightened up. Uh, and then now I can better show you the mechanism for the beach lane. So here, hold on. Here we have the rod and it connects right there through the tiny hole. And we gotta do something, um, something there to get it better. And maybe uh, if we can increase the range um, so that this would move as much as humanly possible. But um, uh, those are we're gonna do. Uh, luckily, quite simple, quick fixes. So let's just go ahead and implement these, and we have a functioning uh, yokes. Well, and, uh, after we also configure them, we'll do that. Everything is soldered and connected. And next up, test flight. Right? Right. Uh, yeah, we have everything soldered underneath the floor. Yep. And it should probably work after we just configure it in mobile flight. Yep, that is gonna be quick. Yeah, it's very quick. Very, very quick. Uh, 
All right, thank you everybody for watching today's episode on the electronic system. It was a little bit more of a detailed video on the electronics and the yoke, which is a little different, uh, a little bit less visible progress, but that's important progress, getting the electronics done. So stay tuned for the test flight. That should be the next video. We already have done test flight as of I'm editing this. There's not much video of the test flight since we were really excited to just fly and feel the plane. So uh, it's gonna be a shorter update on that test flight. But we'll also be doing some mobile flight tutorials and other stuff in the future. So stay tuned for all of that. And next up, we'll also be moving to the main instrument panel. So that's gonna be really, really cool to see coming together. But thank you for watching and see you on the next one.